Hey there, Leslie here, and today I want to talk to you about a polyamine called spermidine that actually helps keep you young. You probably are not aware of this incredibly awkwardly named compound. However, you've probably eaten it. Before you get too excited, it is in soybeans, it is in peas, it is in mushrooms. You can also find it in uh, in mature cheese, like uh, like cheddar cheese, for instance. Uh, you can also find it in high concentration in wheat germ. You can even find it in rice. So um, the other place that you get it is from a commensal bacteria. That means it's a bacteria that we as humans have um, have evolved with. And that bacteria in our gut also produces spermidine. Now, why is spermidine uh, so interesting uh, in addition to its crazy name? It's because it kickstarts a process of cellular renewal called autophagy. So autophagy is something that we've been aware of for a few decades. However, the actual mechanism of action by which it worked and uh, renewed our cells on a regular basis was not well understood until a Japanese scientist named Yoshinori Ozumi came along, figured it out, and published his research. For that, Mr. Ozumi won the Nobel Prize in Medicine or Physiology in 2016. Now we know that we are able to do this when we're younger, uh, to keep our cells new, we can continue to do this as we get older. However, there seems to be a big fall off in production of spermidine around the age of 60. And when that happens, um, our cells simply do not regenerate, renew, and recycle their components the way that they did when we were younger. This means that we experience more fatigue, more wrinkles, um, less glossy hair, um, our muscles, you know, begin to weaken. We experience sarcopenia if we don't have strong muscles. Um, there are many other ways that this also manifests internally in our organs and cells. So spermidine is actually quite important and it helps um, with the production of melanocytes. So melanocytes are the, the sort of shuttle buses for melanin, they take the melanin to the hair bulb in the hair follicle so that we can pigment the hair. And um, if we don't have uh, healthy melanocytes as we get older, we don't have that little shuttle bus to help us. Um, so I'll go into autophagy and spermidine in other ways that spermidine can benefit us in other videos. But for now, that's a brief introduction. I hope it helps. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. Equally, if you're interested in learning more about these anti-aging tips, just sign up to the newsletter link below. Thanks again. Bye.